once you've opened the engine bay and got access to the bonnets here, you've got a dipstick on that side of the engine. It you can also check the condition of your fan belt to make sure that that is tight. Remove the screen to clean that out, stop debris from sitting on there. You can identify your water level. I also check the water level inside the radiator when you've made sure that the engine itself is cold. You don't want to be opening that when the engine is hot. You've got access to the air filter there with its canister and water trap and you've also got belt tensioner here on this side. Check the tension of the belts by pushing the long side in with moderate force you should be able to see the inside of the next belt. To adjust the belts undo the two securing bolts and then use the mechanism down there to push the aluminium pulley outwards regaining tension then lock off the two bolts and the adjuster at the same time. The hydraulic pump situated down here that's also on a pivoting bracket so again test the tension of the drive belt if it's reasonably tight fair play if it's not you need to adjust it. To adjust it use the bolts there and to undo it and then move the pump outwards a bit and then do it up. With the top cover open it'll give you access to the rotor, the bearings, the disc blades themselves, the top roller and also the point for um, pressure testing the hydraulic flow system and also the flow control. When you're doing any maintenance to do with a flywheel it's recommended that you wear a pair of gloves because of the dirt or the grease that might be present and also the blades are sharp. Bear in mind there is no clutch so when you're turning the rotor over you are going to be fighting compression of the engine. Get the machine into the required position. There is a lock that you can use to lock the rotor in place. Clean out the uh, Allen key holes with a screwdriver or something similar pointed stick. 10 mil Allen key, 24 mil socket on this side. Undo the bolt, take the bolt and the blade away. Clean the back of the blade, refit it, turning the blade round to get a new bright area. Refit your bolts, tighten up to 200 Newton meters. Once you've done one bank of blades, undo the lock and secure it in the open position. Like I said, remembering that you are fighting compression of the engine, pull it gently towards you, always being aware that it could go over centre slightly. Until you get to the next set of blades coming round there. Again, secure the rotor with the lock and gives you access to those blades. To remove the uh, horizontal shear bar, a small length of oil thread with a hefty weight on there, screw it into the uh, appropriate hole, get a fair measure inside it, one tap with a side hammer and it's coming out. There you have it. It is reversible so you can turn it round and use the other face. And same again, just pop it back in, tap it home smartly. Remove your oil thread. And replace the clamping bolt, which has got some uh, Nord lock washers to hold it in place. So you hold that in place in there. Slot the hole in, do the bolt up tight. And that clamping arrangement will then stop the shear bar from moving. 